We had some pretty good jobs numbers last week, although many of us think that's actually not the case. There's actually some conspiracy theories floating around about the jobs numbers. Well, we're going to take a look at the data to see if there's any truth to that. Last week, non-farm payrolls were reported at a level of 254,000. It was certainly room uh, reason to celebrate. It was one of the best numbers we've seen since March of this year. In red, non-farm payroll private sector jobs created 223,000, also one of the best numbers for the year. Now, we have to talk about seasonal adjustments. What are those? They're used to remove the effects of predictable seasonal patterns, such as holidays and temporary jobs. We think of the temp jobs are created at the end of the year to accommodate for holiday shopping, and then those jobs disappear at the beginning of the year. We think of you know the school year, for example, more or less jobs are created. So we, had, we apply these seasonal adjustments to smooth out the data. Again, it's important, predictable seasonal patterns. Well, let's take a look at non-farm payrolls, 159,000. It's actually reported in thousands. So it's 159,105,000 jobs existed. If you subtract the August data, that gives us our headline number, the change. Non-farm payroll, not seasonally adjusted, 159,177,000. The difference, minus 72,000. It means that the headline number we see is actually, it's reported 72,000 jobs less than the raw data. So for whatever reason, in the month of September, they've decided to, to subtract out 72,000 jobs. Well, let's talk about the seasonal adjustments. We took a look at a lot of data going all the way back to 1940 through present date. And this is what we've discovered in yellow. Non-farm payroll average seasonal adjustment by year. Every bar represents a different year from 1940 through present date. And what we'll see is that the seasonal adjustments are higher than ever before. It means they're adding more to the, to the numbers, to the jobs numbers than ever before. Whatever the jobs number is, before they report it, they add more to it. Is there a reason why this is happening? I'd ask you. Let us know in the comments. Has something changed with the employment cycle or the patterns of labor that have, you know, that the Bureau of Labor Statistics now has to add more than ever to the seasonal adjustment to report the numbers? Be curious to hear your, your opinion. Now, we can break it down by month. In particular, let's take a look at September. That's the current month. We see the level negative 72. Remember, they took away 72,000 jobs. But what you'll notice, and this is, again, only here the month of September, They've taken away 72,000 jobs. That's that bar all the way to the right. But it's the smallest subtraction in history. There's a seasonal adjustment, but the seasonal adjustment is less than ever before. Whatever the reason that the Bureau of Labor Statistics has decided to add a seasonal adjustment to take away from the number, they're taking away less than ever before. Now, let's take, and this is interesting, Let's take a look at the non-farm payroll number, the number that was reported. If we apply not today's seasonal adjustment, but the historic seasonal adjustment, and to get a really reliable number, we took a look at all the data going back to 1940. And the headline number this month is 254,000 jobs are created, including our current seasonal adjustment. But what if we were to use the historic seasonal adjustment, meaning averaging all the years put together, the headline number would have only been 32,000 jobs created, and that would have been a really bad headline. Last month, 159,000 jobs were created. The seasonal adjustment, if we were to apply the historic seasonal adjustment, it actually would have been better, 207,000. But remember July, that was a bad number, 144. But the historic seasonal adjustment would have actually given us a headline of a loss of 105,000 jobs. In fact, if you average at the bottom all the different, all the reports from January through present date, you know, we have on average 200,000 jobs created per month, but only 150 if we were to use the historic seasonal adjustment. Quite interesting. Now, 
Uh, let's take a look at government jobs. This is for September. In the month of September, there is a seasonal adjustment and there's a trend to seasonally adjust it down, meaning whatever the number is, they're going to report a little bit less. So maybe there's more government jobs than ever before. Not necessarily. If the trend is going down, certainly for the month of September, but for the overall year, this is on a year-over-year -year basis. Every bar represents the, the average for the entire year. We can see there's actually no trend. We only usually see a fluctuation of positive 2 to negative 2. So while the seasonal adjustment may be trending in one direction for the month of September, it's most certainly trending in the opposite direction in another month. Maybe that has to do with uh, the government is counting the jobs a different way on a month-to-month -month basis. But the seasonal adjustments, we should also mention, they're, uh, they're applied also if there's da the data comes in late or there's an error in the data. If some retailers don't report the right numbers for whatever reason. But the government jobs, there's not really a, a big question mark because the government knows how many government jobs there are. That's why we see very little fluctuation over the long term in terms of the seasonal adjustment. They're basically using the same math they were using, you know, 80 years ago. Now, non-farm payroll, private sector. And this is interesting. You're going to see the correlation between the private sector and the overall number. Private sector jobs only, we're using more of a seasonal adjustment than ever before. Every bar represents uh, the entire year average. And what's interesting, particularly the last three years on the private sector and the overall number, the headline number, the past three years, the past three years since COVID, we've seen more of an addition to the numbers than ever before and three consecutive years at that. In terms of the private sector jobs reported only for the month of September, we see that there's a subtraction, but it's the smallest subtraction than ever before. Just going back to the year 2007, for example, the seasonal adjustment was a minus 500, minus 600, meaning whatever the number was, they were subtracting out 500,000 jobs from that net number. Well, now they're not even really taking almost anything away. It's almost as if they're trying to make these numbers look as good as possible. If you have an opinion, again, as far as what the motivation may be, and this is not one particular year, but a trend that has persisted for many decades, we'd love to hear what you have to say. Now, it's important to make note of this, not just a fun conspiracy theory, maybe not so much fun, but the headlines have reacted. Economists see brighter outlook for 2024. Uh, the U.S. economy doesn't need rate cuts. The Fed is close to pulling off the elusive economic soft landing. If you look at the bond market, the 10-year bonds back above 4%. The Fed funds futures are only predicting quarter point cuts for the rest of the year, three quarter point cuts. So the market has become very rosy in terms of their outlook in large part based on such great numbers from last month, from last week, which we now see, well, they're great, but only if the seasonal adjustments are adjusted, so to speak. Uh, so it'll be very interesting to see. We have uh, inflation number CPI later on this week. Uh, very, very big numbers indeed. We hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you back soon.